Well, hello, welcome back to our educational series. My name is Ben Weaver at the Music Connection Lesson Studio in Sycamore, Illinois. Today for part two, we're gonna keep learning about the flute with our flute instructor, Miss Elizabeth Vieira. But before we do that, make sure you head over to our website to learn more about the Music Connection and to read Elizabeth's wonderful bio. But as you see here, I have the flute in sections. So make sure you check out our other video to learn more about what we covered in the first video, which includes the parts of the flute. This is the foot joint. This is the body of the flute. And this is the head joint. So make sure you check out our other video uh, to learn more. Okay, well, let's go and get started with stretching. So today we'll talk about some stretching exercises that we can use to warm up for practice sessions to avoid injury and burnout. So here's some stretches that we can do for a wrist actually. So if you can put your hand out, you can choose your left or right, and then grab your opposite hand and put it across your four fingers, your pinky and the rest of your fingers, not your thumb. And then you are going to lightly pull back. You don't want to go too, too deep into the stretch. You don't want to hurt your wrist. We're trying to avoid injury, not cause injury. And you can count 10 seconds or five seconds, whatever you need. We can do five seconds just to show them. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And now you can switch to the other hand. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And this will help because we're always, you know, as flute players and other instruments, we're always playing long runs and we're always playing fast and we're always moving our fingers. So that's really gonna help our fingers just warm up and stretch and our wrist. All right, next one I can show you is the is an arm exercise and a okay. shoulder exercise. So you can grab your arm, mm -hmm. pick your left or right, mm -hmm. and then grab the opposite arm. And you're going to bring the first arm across mm -hmm. your body like this. And then you're going to bring the opposite arm and you're going to lightly pull that arm into a stretch. And again, you can do this for 10 seconds or five seconds. Mm -hmm. We can do five just to show them. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and then you can just relax. Mm -hmm. And then you can do the same with your other arm. And again, just stretch that arm and you're stretching your shoulders and always, you wanna make sure that you're releasing tension. Mm -hmm. To avoid injury, you just don't wanna have any tension ever when you play. And one, two, three, four, five. All right, mm -hmm. and now we'll do a little neck exercise because when I realized that when I play and when a lot of my peers play flute, we tend to tense this up in our neck and then we get a lot of shoulder pain. So you can just grab your neck and you can just go in circles to the right. And you can do that for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then you can go in the opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five. And then here's another stretch I like to do. You grab one arm and you put it over your head like this. Mm -hmm. And then you can grab your other arm, put it on your elbow, mm -hmm. and just slightly push for a stretch. One, two, three, four, five. And then you can switch arms. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And that's some of the stretches that you can do, but of course there's a lot more stretches that we can find. Wonderful. Okay, well, let's continue right along here. After the stretches, we're going to transition to using more electronics uh, for the beginning flute player or the intermediate or the advanced level. So right here in front, we have the Dr. Beat DB90 Metronome by Roland Boss. And then we have a wonderful, convenient uh, smartphone app or laptop app called Tonal Energy. So for those that are watching and maybe aren't familiar with the Tonal Energy app or the Dr. B DB90 metronome, feel free to Google those. They're wonderful um, electronic, modern techno you know, technology-based uh, features that can really enhance your learning. So let's go ahead and talk about how do you use an app like Tonal Energy? Yeah, so I mostly use Tonal Energy just because this is a little too big to carry everywhere. Uh, so Tonal Energy has a tuner. They can also play the notes for you and act as a drone. For example, if I need to hear an A natural, and then if I need to go up the octave, 
um, if I need to tune. It also lets me change the instrument that I'm tuning. And there's also a sounds option where you can just play around with a keyboard. All right, stay tuned for our next video. We're gonna learn more about using tonal energy to help with intonation and the metronome.